Published 1642 EDT, the 16th of August 2017, updated 0356 EDT, the 17th of August 2017. Ben Carson has revealed his house was recently vandalized with anti-Trump rhetoric while condemning urging Americans to take the high road against bigotry after violence in Charlottesville. The housing secretary wrote on Facebook that his home in Virginia was covered in messages criticizing the president while he was out of town but his embarrassed neighbors cleaned it up before he returned. He started the post explaining how one person put a Confederate flag up when he moved into a rural Maryland neighborhood. Other neighbors, Carson says, quickly put up star-spangled banners in response shaming the neighbor into removing his flag. The only black member of President Donald Trump's cabinet, Ben Carson, is urging Americans to take the high road to fight bigotry following the violence in Charlottesville. Virginia Hay says, less than kind behavior was met by people taking the high road. The former presidential candidate then goes on to say how his former home was attacked. Carson continued more recently our home in Virginia along with that of a neighbor was vandalized by people who also wrote hateful rhetoric about President Trump. We were out of town, but other kind, embarrassed neighbors cleaned up most of the mess before we returned. In both instances, less than kind behavior was met by people taking the high road. We could all learn from these examples. Hatred and bigotry unfortunately still exists in our country and we must all continue to fight it, but let's use the right tools. By the way, that neighbor who put up the Confederate flag subsequently became friendly, that is the likely outcome if we just learn to be neighborly and to get to know each other. Carson did not mention Trump's comments Tuesday, in which the president blamed both sides for the deadly racial violence on Saturday. In a post Sunday, Carson said it was sad watching the political pundits arguing about whether President Trump went far enough in condemning the instigators of the violence in Charlottesville. When the tensions were boiling over in Virginia, Carson posted Let us pray for those killed and injured during the unrest in Charlottesville today, but also for our nation as it is being severely threatened by hatred and bigotry on all sides. I am pleased that the president overtly disavowed any relationship with white supremacists, Carson wrote. We should all reject the forces of division on all sides of the political spectrum. There are radical terrorists in the world who want to destroy us and are coming dangerously close to acquiring the means to accomplish their goals. We must present a strong and united front in the future. If America is going to survive, we must not yield to the forces of evil. Remember what our money says in God we trust. Let's act accordingly.